playing Flow Game Dude here, and welcome back to Metaphobia. Um, we just went and stole some of the stuff from the university, <laughs> technically, and we found out some really incriminating stuff. And um, yeah, or uh, theories, but it turns out to be true. But uh. Yeah, let's, let's just go to Judy and see what's... Actually, we'll just... I can't find any... I can't find any notes about these translated... Okay. No way. I don't want to give to... I have nothing to say to her. I have nothing to say to her. Um... Go to the library. We can. Can we? Just I don't need the computer. Um. A picture of. A I don't want to cut this photograph. Let's um. Blake's personal journal. Wait. Now that I have the key, why would I put it back? Now that I have the key, why? Wait, do I have to go back again? I thought I had to go to the library. I think, I guess I'm not. I don't know. Go to Flower's office. Um. No, that I can't find it. I'm trying to find something, but I'd rather. Uh, Let's give her this then. This is fascinating. I found Blake's personal journal. It's mostly academic research, but there's a section that details a bizarre theory. If it's true, he claims he can prove the existence of reptilians. Reptilians? Yeah. Blake writes they're an alien race of humanoid lizards that supposedly control the world. You don't actually believe this, do you? No, I mean, it's crazy, right? He claims that these reptilians use their telepathic powers to enter our minds. They control us like puppets, but not everyone's brain is capable of receiving telepathic frequencies. Okay. Some people just go insane and doctors diagnose them as schizophrenics. And Blake believes this? Wow, just goes to show you. You never truly know a person until you read their creepy secret diary. Yep, absolutely. I managed to translate the symbols I found in the hut. It's ancient Sumerian. Know anything about that? Sorry, buddy. I think these people use Sumerian as a form of secret communication. Doesn't make much sense. Why wouldn't they make up their own code? That way nobody can decrypt it. I don't know. Okay. Um. See if she knows anything about this. What do you make of this? What's this? Something you drew? No. Not exactly my style. They're symbols of some kind. Any idea what they mean? Beats me. Maybe it's a secret language. Alright, um, what else? I don't want to show her the picture, but I'm going to show her this. What do you think about these? What is that? They're a blood and skin sample. Ew, God, Richard. Why do you have that? 
I found it in Blake's office. And you think this is what? A clue? Maybe. Well, good luck. I'm not touching that. Blood and skin samples I found in Blake's office. Okay, um... Why would I... D Blake's personal journal. He describes the pressure can change a person's thoughts and behavior. Blake also mentions an Iranian museum with an ancient book called The Draconium. Okay, maybe I gotta go to the library now. Let's go to the library, see if I can... I don't need the computer. Open up. Talk to her about this. Excuse me. I'm afraid. Dang it. <laughs> I don't need the computer. I don't know where to go now. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, what I forgot to do, because you know the dude, the bio thing. Um, I gotta talk to him about that. Hello. Hi, I'm calling about the note you posted in the university. Oh yeah. What do you need help with? I have a blood and skin sample I need processed. Would you be able to help? Yeah, no problem. It'll cost you between 50 and 100 bucks, depending on what kind of research we're talking about. That's fine. I'm not on campus right now. Can you meet me in the city library? Sure, no problem. Cool, see you soon. Goodbye. Okay, let's go back to the library. Hi, are you Brian Kosloff? The one and only. You the guy who called before? Yeah. So what can I do for you? Okay. Grab that. I'd like some research done on these blood and skin samples. I want to know everything there is to know about them. Blood type, skin tone, age, everything. And let me know if you find anything out of the ordinary diseases chemicals whatever it might be okay all right i'll give it a shot it'll cost you a hundred bucks all right brother here you go pleasure doing business with you i'll call you tomorrow all right thank you very much have a nice day someone is calling you okay hey judy Richard, something terrible has just happened. What are you talking about? Uh-oh. You know the biology professor you asked me to watch? Professor Cornelius Blake? Yeah, what happened? He's just been killed. Oh, crap. What? That can't be. I just spoke to him. I don't know what happened, but please keep your eyes open. I can't believe it. Keep me updated if you hear anything else. Okay. I will. What's going on? What happened to Professor Blake? If they were onto him, they may be onto me as well. I should lay low for now. These people could be anywhere. I don't even know who they are. I'll go home and rest. This is getting intense. Yeah. Let's go home. All this commotion about Professor Blake has me exhausted. I should call it a day. Okay. Good morning, honey. How are you? Bored. I hate this city. There's nothing to do. I don't know anyone. How can you live here? It's a city, <laughs> Patricia. 
There are a million things you can do. When I finish my work, I'll take you out and show you all the great things the city has to offer. We'll go to a museum or an art exhibition, like we used to. When you finish your work, you always have work. Mysterious secret work you won't tell anyone about. I'll tell you once it's all sorted out. Does this have something to do with Grandpa's death? What? How do you know that? I can just tell. You're kind of easy to read, you know that? Is there a problem with the inheritance? You should talk to Mom if you need money. I don't need money. It has nothing to do with that. It's something else related to your grandfather. I'll explain everything when the time comes. Wow, Gandalf with the cryptic messages. Whatever. Keep your secret. I don't care. I gotta go study for a test. God, I can't wait for winter break. Well, if you get good grades, I'll take you out somewhere nice for your break. I always get good grades. <laughs> and I'm proud of you for that. Yeah, yeah, okay, bye. Dang. Someone is calling me. Again? Brian? Hey, I did some research into those samples you gave me. If it's okay, can we meet again at the library? Perfect. I'll head over there in a few minutes. Okay. Great. I'm here now. See you soon. Let's go out here then, I guess. Let's go to the library. Talk to Cos Kars Karloff. Hello. So what did you find out? Look, man. I don't know what kind of weird shit you're into, but I don't want to be a part of it. What do you mean? Don't play stupid. The blood is half human DNA and half some kind of lizard DNA. The skin has scales like a fish or a snake, but not like any animal I've ever seen. Are you serious? Who are you? You doing some kind of secret government test on humans? No, no, you don't under- That's messed up, man. It's not right. Just take it and leave. If anyone asks, we never met. Got it? I'm out of here. This is really getting strange. Could this secret society be experimenting with lizard DNA? I'm not sure where to look next. Professor Blake mentioned a mysterious island in his journal, but he doesn't say where it is. That's the only clue I've got right now. I guess I have to book a flight to Iran to check that museum out. Okay. Go talk to Judy. I have nothing to say. Really? Oh wait, no. I think we have to like show her what it is, and then we'll just tell her about it. What do you think about? What is there a blood? Yeah. I found it. And you? Maybe. Well. I think. Oh, we can't tell her anything. All right. Um. I guess we gotta go home and then go to talk to her about it. Is she gonna let us? Do you have a moment, sweetheart? What is it? Is everything all right? I guess so. No, I don't want to. I already took a. Sh I'm back, guys. Sorry. Um, what we gotta do is. Literally go to the computer and book a flight to Iran. Let's see if I can get a flight to Iran. Jesus, that's pricey. Well, I can't turn back now. So much for my savings. One round trip to Iran it is. Here we go. Let's head to the airport. Okay. Guess we gotta call Patricia, right? Of course. Okay, or call Judy. Hello? 
Hey, Jude. No. Oh, okay. sure. All right, well, I guess then we got to go. We got to go this way. I better call Patricia. Okay. Try to call her. Yeah? Patricia, listen to me. What is it, Dad? I need to go out of town for a few days. This is very important. Just say you're seeing your girlfriend. It's fine. No, listen to me. I'm serious. All right, calm down. What is it? It has to do with your grandfather's death. I'm sorry, I can't tell you more. Just be safe. Don't go anywhere by yourself. I'll be back as soon as I can. Dad, why won't you tell me what's going on? I'll explain later, I promise. Just be careful, okay? And please, don't tell your mother. I'm 17, Dad, not 5. I'm not a snitch. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, you be safe too. Doing whatever it is you're doing. I will. Bye. All right. Let's go to the airport. Okay. Damn, I'm lost. These streets are like a maze. I'd better ask around and find out where the museum is. Okay. Excuse me, kid. <laughs> what? Hey. 100 rials, please. What? I wipe your shoes, you give me money. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any rials. Only American dollars. No dollars, only rials. Jesus. Listen, kid. Can you just tell me where the Shant Gregorian Museum is? No money, no talk. Damn, how am I supposed to get reals for the kid? Hello. Good day, sir. How may I be of service? Can you please tell me where the Shant Magorian Museum is, sir? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not from this town. I only sell fruits and vegetables here in the market. I don't even know there was a museum. Try asking some of the locals. Okay. I will. Thank you. Sir, do you think you can change some U.S. dollars into local reals for me? I can't find an exchange office. Perhaps, but first you need to help me. Okay. Oh. See that fat man with a skull on his face by the butcher's stand? Yep. Yeah. That man is a fraud in Kukicha. He is trying to destroy my business so that he doesn't have any competition. Okay. But that doesn't make any sense. You sell different goods. Can't your customers shop at both stands? A normal person would think that, yes. But he only sees money. Any rile spent on my produce is a rile they could have spent on his meats. You see, meat is expensive in these parts. Okay. Many of my customers buy only fruits and vegetables because that is all they can afford. I see. But if he can keep people away from my stand, they'll spend what little they have at his. Just yesterday he was yelling all over the market that my vegetables are full of poisonous chemicals. What a lie! My vegetables are pure. Okay. They're grown from local farms. Okay. Uh, talk about How's business going right? for you? Not so well, actually. Why is that? See that fat man over there? He pisses me off. Oh. Why? He is always trying to scare away my customers. In Nachma. Okay. So what do you want from me? I need you to somehow uh, tamper with his stand. Are you crazy? That's illegal. Believe me, it's for the greater good. Most sellers in the market would be thankful if you managed to get rid of that awful man. All right, I'll try. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll come back later. Okay. As you wish, sir. Let's 
see what this dude's. Excuse me, sir. Who's the Devar Charid? The Strang Rastivan? Um, no, thank you. I don't need that. That's some strange looking meat hanging there. I think I found the source of that disgusting smell. That's some strange. Alright, um... I scraped a bit of green mold off the wall. Oh, it smells horrible. Okay. Alright, anyways, uh, sorry guys. Um... done it. Look, you can see it from here. The meat he's selling is covered in mold. I see. Just a moment. Zargun Pissar. Nega konid. Imarj guste fasid. Mifrashad. Ji. Inštata refata hoftad. Gomshaz Grinja, to Hogavat Kasti, Barchera. Okay. There's no time for small. Your average marketplace. There's no time. Can you get me the ruples? Oh, wait, I gotta. Okay, I did my part. Can you change my dollars into reals now? Oh, of course, my friend. Here you are. Thank you, brother. And here's an extra thanks. Take this cheese bar. My friend gave it to me, but I hate smelly cheese. You Americans love it, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do, actually. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your visit. Hotavaravasha. This means I'm going to be with you. Thank you, brother. Thanks. Goodbye. Let's go this way. Yeah, this little, little brats. Gonna tell me where I need to be. Um. Hello there. Hello, sir. You're back. Do you have my 100 reals? All right, kiddo. Here you go. A hundred reals. Motashukaram, Aka. Now, would you tell me where the Shant Magorian Museum is? You go down here, then right. At the end of the long street, turn left and right again. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. All right. Where do I gotta go? Do I go back here then? And then it goes to. Hello. Hello there, my friend. All right. See ya. Good afternoon. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Shanmagoria Museum of History and Archaeology. What can I do for you? Okay, um... Can you tell me how long this museum has been here? Why, of course, sir. The museum was established in 1864 with funding from the Ministry of Culture. And there's a lot here, isn't there? Oh, yes. You'll notice the building has been divided to cover different topics. Okay. There's the prehistoric wing, sections devoted to each of the ancient civilizations, such as the Sumerians and the Akkadians. Then there's a wing dedicated to modern Iranian history. I've heard you have a Sumerian mysticism section. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, that's one of the main exhibitions. You'll find it in the Sumerian history. Okay. Legend has it that okay. supernatural entities ruled the world from the beginning of human history and that the Sumerians praised them as gods. That's just a myth, of course. 
Oh, yeah. Though, for whatever reason, it's caught on with quite a few conspiracy theorists. Interesting. Well, thank you very much. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Okay, let's go over here and... I am sorry, sir. The museum is... I understand. Okay, well then, I'll just pay you in ruples. I would like to buy a ticket. All right, sir. Uh, the ticket costs 100,000 reals. Mm. Here you are, sir. Enjoy. Thanks. Okay. Um... A gypsum statue that depicts two embracing figures believed to be a married couple. Archaeologists found it buried beneath the floor of a shrine at Nippur, a Sumerian city. It's dated 2600 BC. Okay. Look at this. This one. must be the draconium Blake wrote about. Okay. I have to get it, somehow. If Blake mentions it in his journal, it must be very important. And it may be helpful for my case, too. Okay. Well then, um, guys, we're just going to leave it here, um, for right now. Hopefully, y'all like this. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you.